How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so, um, how you doing? Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. Reporter here on YouTube. Big day in news. Cover a couple of subjects. I think the, uh, the big one is uh, Paul Manafort. Let's talk about that. So today, Paul Manafort, <coughs> the uh, former campaign manager for the good president, Donald Trump, was found guilty Guilty as charged on eight counts of bank fraud and uh, tax shenanigans and such, right? And um, the media is a frenzy. Oh, see how dirty Trump is. But what does it prove? Right? <clears throat> what does it really prove? It doesn't. It doesn't prove anything. It proves that we live in a very corrupt political environment where people with millions and billions of dollars think that they're above the law. They cheat on their taxes. They <clears throat> right, that's all it proves. Right, it doesn't. The the the, the it also proves that you know undeniably that the Mueller investigation is in fact a witch hunt. Mueller was hired and and appointed to see if there was any Russian meddling in the 2016 election. So instead of actually looking where the leaks and the corruption was, which was in the bowels of the DNC and in Imran Awan's computer, and on Debbie Wasserman Schultz's laptop, and, and in Hillary Clinton's fake foundation, instead of looking there for the corruption, they picked Paul Manafort to cover that, right? Cover it up, cover it up, right? So that's all it proves. It proves that we live in a very corrupt, you know, we have a very corrupt system of, of politics, and that... that um, People in that position will lie, cheat, steal, frame you, you know, air out your dirty laundry and, and uh, accuse you of being a Russian spy. Right? It's all it proves. Also in the news is, um, and on the other side of it, I already mentioned his name, Imran Awan, right? So Paul Manafort is charged on, is found guilty on eight counts of the things I just talked about. Imran Awan who presided over probably the, the greatest spy ring in the history of America, where a quid pro quo operation was discovered, where money was were flowing into the Democratic Party through the Clinton Foundation, and then those favors were being sold out the back door to the highest bid, mostly Wall Street, right? They got in, you know, so... so that's big news, but that... but, but, but Imran Awan, nothing. Got, he got three months suspended sentence out the back door biggest spy ring in Congress no no handling mishandling of classified information he didn't have authorization to handle classified stuff but that's that's what he was doing thousands and thousands of communications classified can you hear my cat I don't know if you can hear it I hear it because I'm wearing a headset but uh, cat's cat's screaming so Imran Awan, three months suspended sentence, no, no nothing. Paul Manafort, guilty, another case, guilty. Guilty of what? Guilty of being a politician, cheating on your taxes, right? You gotta, it's a swamp. You've got to get rid of all of them, right? We know that. Right? The big story was Imran Awan today, getting nothing, right? Out the back door, and Paul Manafort gets hammered for eight counts of tax shenanigans and not a single bit of it, nothing at all, had to do with the initial uh, uh, investigation by Mueller into Russian, you know, <laughs> bullshit Russia. The Russia, the, 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 the hack and the narrative was inside the DNC. And that person was Seth Rich, right? Very likely, right? Or somebody like him, right? So let's talk about Seth Rich. Seth Rich in the news again. Now, Mr. Couch and uh, <laughs> and uh, Mr. America, uh, they're still hammering away at the Donna Brazil. Donna Brazil was in. She was in D.C. She was. She said she was in Washington. She said she was in Seattle, but she was in D.C. We can prove it. We can prove that Donna Brazil was in D.C. at the time and the place. Right. So, true pundit is putting out Thomas Paine's behind it. Right. They're, they're putting out evidence now, electronic data, 
that suggests that Donna Brazil was tweeting and communicating from her phone that was in Washington, D.C. at the time that Seth Rich was allegedly brought to that hospital with bullet holes and then later died. Right? That's never been on the record. That's never been disclosed before. So if it's true, it's a bombshell in the sense that the Democrats are so deeply corrupt and so fucked up. Right? But we've already known that. I mean, it's not really newsable that they'll lie, they'll cheat, they'll steal, they'll likely kill people. Right? I mean, so... Now, but here's, the, here's what's going to happen. I can tell you what's going to happen, right? Donna Brazil, here's, here's the lawyers. They're already spinning the story, right? So if it turns out that Donna Brazil's phone was communicating through a, some kind of device that detects it in D.C., right? They'll just say, oh, well, that's, no, that's my handler. No, that's what? The phone? Oh, the phone, the phone. Oh, right, that's right. The phone was, was, was my assistant who was in D.C. at the time. And what I do is I send her my messages and she, she, because I don't, I'm stupid. I don't know anything about, uh, you know, social media. So I just send her a message and she, she sends it out on, on, on fucking Twitter, right? That's what they'll do. They just, they could, they pro progressive liars, totally corrupt liars and totally protected by the establishment. They're untouchable, right? So that's what that's what will become of that. That's why the evidence is not. You're never going to get a testimonial. You're never going to get her to confess, right? Even if you see a video of her, she'll they'll say, "Oh no, that's not her." <laughs> They're fucking right. This look, Seth Rich. There's no, there's no evidence. Still, not a drop of evidence that puts a body on the street in that spot at that time, right? There's nothing. There's no ballistics there's no blood stains there's no there's no street video there's no witnesses there's n nothing that that says Seth Rich was shot on that on that spot now it would again it's a it's a wonderful twist Mr. Couch and Thomas Paine if if you can you know hunker down that 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 Donna Brazil was in fact at that hospital at that time and with the mayor of D.C. and why did they lie and what did they know about Seth Rich? Was he murdered? They were probably some of the last people to have spoke to him while he was either still alive or what I believe is that he went out the back door. So they were probably the, 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 the final people to have had words with Seth Rich, which makes it, you know, what was said? What kind of deal was struck? Right? We're going to let you out the back door, go to Israel, no problem, right? And then my, my view is that they killed him, right? They let him out and that they, they cut a deal and the family was happy about that deal. And, and he's, he's, they still think he's on a kibbutz somewhere in fucking Israel. Everybody's happy, but then they, they cut him out. They, 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 they rub him out, right? So Paul Manafort free, uh, uh, tried on eight, you know, guilty on eight counts. We'll see what he gets. There'll probably be a sentencing, whatever. I, I think that Trump is going to pardon him anyway. I don't think he'll ever do any jail time. That's my thought on that. Imran Wan, free as a bird, protected by the Democrats. There was also the rumor that he was, uh, he was uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz's love boy. So maybe he'll go back and, you know, a little fucking you know, <laughs> Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Uh, what a disgusting thought. What a disgusting visual. So, and and uh, finally, Jen Moore. Let's talk about. It. All right, I put out a I put out a, a video. I went out of my, I stretched out of my lane a little bit. Is Jenny Moore dead? Look, we we we're, we're interested in the story that she was talking about, and in her in her absence, in her apparent murder, that story is now, you know, topicable is is being talked about. But where is the where is the witness, right? Again, I said it this morning that that George Webb is a is a it works differently. He operates differently, and for for him to have you know set up a a, a to, to to have taken a, a character in his cast of characters out of the play, out of the school play, is not unthinkable, and is not it's not an unreasonable thing to think, 
right? That that the girl is still alive because when she died, there was only really this. All we know is that that George is what George is saying, and the guy next to him is saying. But did they see a body? Did they? Did why didn't George film it? Right? You got like, I mean, it doesn't get more firsthand than that. You're Mr. Reporter, Mr. Camera Guy, and you miss the opportunity to film a reporter who's dead, who was investigating, you know, Bill Clinton rapes a boy case, and you didn't get it? You didn't get the story? You didn't get the, the you didn't publish, where, where's, the, where's the police report? That's all I'm saying is, is that we, if we keep, a, like, like with the, 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 with the Matt Couch thing, right? He's saying that he's coming out with very middle, minimal evidence, and he's fishing. You know, he's 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 fishing for for evidence. That's how I view it, and I think that that's not. I don't know. I might be wrong, but if if anybody really thinks that 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 my video of, you know, is you know talking to Task Force and Jen Jen Moore as if she's alive. Right. If people think that's that's in poor taste, then let me know, and I'll I'll think about taking that, that down that video. All right. So it's a it's a, a rather big news today, uh, big news day. The big one, the big takeaway is Manafort's no. It is nothing has nothing to do with Russia collusion. Never did, never will. Right. And Imran Awan, scot free. Was Donna Brazil there? Was Donna Brazil at the hospital? Uh, you're never gonna get a straight answer. You're never gonna. You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Get those. Get those. Get those Met police to roll over. That's something. You get those police to roll over. Let them come forward. Right? Fuck the Intel committee. Don't wait for that. That's stupid. Right? Jen Moore, if you're alive, speak up. Come on. This is bullshit, right here. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. Peace.